Hello, everyone. Welcome to Morning Coffee. Thank you so much for tuning in. So, this is going to be a general energy reading for my birthday, Monday, May 6th. Woohoo! I, <clears throat> well, as of 2.09 p.m. this afternoon, I will be 32 years young. Yes? And I'm super, ha super happy about it. I am super grateful for everything. Um, and I just want to give a big shout out to you guys for being here and being so loyal and like supporting my channel. I really, really love you guys. And I am so happy to be here. Yeah, sorry, my hands are dry. Um, so this is a general energy reading. So please take what resonates and leave what doesn't. If you'd like a look into your own personal situation, please go ahead and email me. My email is in the description box below. Speaking of personal uh, readings, really, really quickly. First of all, I'm not sure that I'm going to be doing happy hour this week because over the weekend, um, I got a large influx of reading, personal reading inquiries. So if you have, if you've sent, um, if you'd like sent me an email looking for a reading, a personal reading this past weekend, please give me, um, just please, please be patient with me. I still, I do have to get back to you guys. I'm going to get back to you guys, but it's going to be, it's going to take me, you know, a little bit of time. Um, also, like I have a bunch of stuff I need to do. But then also I have this project that I'm working on for class, <clears throat> for school that um, I, something, something of it is due this week. So between the personal readings that came in, came in over the weekend and my schoolwork, I'm not exactly sure I'll be able to do happy hour this week. Okay. But stay tuned. That's not definite yet. We'll figure it out. Okay. Um, other than that, I hope you guys had a great weekend. It is a gorgeous sunny day today and I'm very, very happy about it because it was kind of rainy and gloomy all weekend, but here we are. Okay, guys, let's get started here. All right, here we go. Hi, spirit. Please make me a clear channel for the collective at this time. Please bring forward the best messages to serve the highest good of all involved for today, Monday, May 6th, 2019. Thank you, spirit. Okay, so first of all, let me say that these messages are timeless, okay? So just because it's coming through and it's dated for the 6th of May, it doesn't have to be just that day. You can watch this at any time. And if it resonates, it resonates. Like if you're drawn to watch it at a time that's any other time that is not May 6th, there's most likely something in it that you would benefit from hearing. Okay. Now, as I was channeling the energies for the day and, and um, channeling them into the cards, the deck turned blue. Blue is one of my favorite colors. So, okay, there's that. But looking past this, because obviously everything is not about me. <laughs> I'm just kidding. But it really isn't, but I'm kidding. <laughs> um, blue, it's the, like the, it's like a, a um, uh, like a cobalt blue, I guess you could say, or like, it's the color of the uh, uh, throat chakra. So I feel like for today, or at least the message that's coming through today, I want to say the challenge is communication. So maybe um, a good amount of you are going through a situation in which communication is necessary and you're trying to figure out how to do it. You could also be going through a throat chakra clearing. Um, you could also need to speak some sort of truth or like maybe there's some sort of personal truth that you need to express that you haven't expressed that you've been in resistance towards expressing. Um, or there's just something that you need to say, something that you want to let out. Maybe there's some, uh, uh, I guess I could be saying it and I, I just, I could be repeating myself, but also I want to say maybe there's something that needs to be revealed. Maybe you need to reveal something 
to a family member, a friend, um, a romantic partner, a coworker, whatever, or there's just something. It could be, it could just even be so big as on a mass scale, on a collective scale, there's something <clears throat> that needs to be released, something that needs to be revealed, something that needs to possibly be seen in a truer light for what it really is. Monday. May 6th, 2019. One last shuffle here. All right, let's see what we've got for you guys for the day. Give me a second, some tea. All right, here we go, kids. Monday, May 6th, 2019. Monday, May 6th. Ooh, 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 look at that. There's that Ace of Cups, y'all. Interest. Oh, shit. <laughs> oh, no, the Three of Swords. That's really interesting. Cards keep flipping over, but they're not coming out. Okay, I'm going to take those two. Underneath the deck, we... Whoa. Okay, we have the Ace of Swords here is underneath the deck. So, yes, communication, guys. There is something that needs to be expressed, something that needs to be talked about. Huh. Because you see here, the Ace of Cups flew out. It was the first card to flew out, but you see how it's crossed? And then we have the Three of Swords. That's on top of it, okay? So let's see what else came out here. The Knight of Pentacles, okay, and then these cards. The Wheel of Fortune, the Five of Pentacles, Shadow Work, and Judgment. My, oh, my. Okay, I'm going to take these three, I'm going to put them here. And then these three, four, excuse me, are going to go down here. Because these four down here, this is these are this is part of the overarching cycle, okay? This is when you zoom out, this is what's happening. All right. But on a more micro view, like this is the macro view here. Wheel of Fortune, Five of Pentacles, Shadow Work and Judgment. On a micro view, you have Ace of Cups, Three of Swords, Knight of Pentacles. I really feel like I really, 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 really feel like somebody either wants to offer love, maybe wants to receive an offer of love. But there's some sort of heartbreak standing in the way. I'm really not feeling like there is... I mean, this this is a general reading, okay, guys? So take what resonates and leave what doesn't. But for the most part, I'm not feeling like there's anything, any sort of, like, infidelity. Somebody's cheated or something like that. That needs to be revealed. There could be. There absolutely could be. But with this Knight of Pentacles here... I don't feel like that's the case. Now, it could be that someone is slowly but surely getting to the point where they can confess or they can reveal or they can actually even talk about it. But that's not really... The biggest thing that I'm getting right here is that I feel like there's love between individuals here. There are two individuals here, but heartbreak is keeping them from communicating with each other heartbreak from the past maybe even some sort of circumstances that are currently in your life that someone feels like could be a deal breaker or could yeah could be a deal breaker um you're just needing to communicate about it but i, I what this knight of pentacles is saying here is that um Slowly but surely, that could be coming in, okay? And then in the overarching situation, you have the Wheel of Fortune, Five of Pentacles, Shadow Work, and Judgment. So, obviously, the Wheel of Fortune is a change in karmic destiny, is what I just heard. Uh, change in karma, karmic cycles shifting, okay? And the biggest shift that's happening here is feeling left out in the cold with this Five of Pentacles energy. And that's what you have in the Ace of Cups as well. I would say that the Ace of Cups energy, which is a cup of self-love, divine love, unconditional love, um, the energy of the Ace of Cups is the antithesis of the Five of Pentacles or is the complete and utter opposite of the energy of the Five of Pentacles, okay? The Five of Pentacles is feeling rejected, feeling lost, lonely, insecure, destitute, uh, impoverished, um, and all that stuff. 
but mainly this five of pentacles energy comes from a lack of self-love okay and that is what i feel like someone i really feel like somebody is definitely holding this cup of self-love okay their cup your cup or whatever I'll just say they. This could be you. It could be the person that you're connecting with. It could be both of you, okay? Someone is really holding on this to this cup of self-love and wanting to change their destiny, change their lives here. Wheel of Fortune and the Five of Pentacles. But it does involve shadow work, okay? And that's not easy. And the shadow work I'm seeing here is facing this Three of Swords energy, whatever this represents to you, with this Ace of Cups in full focus saying, whatever this Three of Swords energy is, it's not gonna keep me down. Why? Because I love myself, I love myself unconditionally, I know the universe loves me unconditionally, and I know that I'm what I put out, what I put out into the world is what I will receive, Ace of Swords. That knowledge that somebody is holding, you or somebody else, or maybe the both of you, that knowledge that you're holding, 11-11 on the counter. I've been seeing 11-11 like crazy lately, but that knowledge that someone is holding is the key to changing your destiny, to pulling yourself out of this Five of Pentacles energy, to doing your shadow work, and successfully dealing or handling your shadow and ascending or getting some sort of redemption, getting some sort of second chance with judgment. Okay? That's really quite nice, guys. That really is very, very nice. I would not rush communication. Let people... Let people do what they do. Let people get there on in their own time, okay? And keep in mind, and this is, this is a good practice to staying detached from a specific outcome or from a specific outcome with a specific individual or whatnot, whatever. Um, oh, shoot. It's about, hold on. <laughs> I totally lost it. Um, you, uh, detachment, what is it? Oh, damn it. I'm sorry, guys. I totally lost it. Oh, oh, oh. But staying, remaining, like not rushing the situation, just going with the flow, like detach from it and just say whatever, whatever. It, I, and I know this is pretty cliche. I get it. But like, really, whatever is meant for you, whatever is truly yours, it will happen, it will come through. So don't even worry about it. Just focus on you, focus on your healing, focus on doing, yeah, fa focus on facing this, this bitch of a demon here and, and facing it and healing it, you know? Doing your own shadow work, doing your own healing of this Three of Swords energy so that when the time for communication does manifest itself or does appear, you're ready for it, Ace of Swords. And don't worry about when that's going to happen. The more you think, because I'm hearing some of you say, well, when? When is that going to happen? When is that going to happen? Don't worry about that. First of all, you're putting more resistance into the situation by trying to figure out exactly when it's going to happen. Second of all, you also put resistance into the situation when you're nervous about it, when you're like, when you're, when you're like so wrapped up and you're like, oh my God, I'm never going to be ready for this. Don't worry about it. Yes, you will be ready, says the universe, says spirit. You just have to take the time to do the healing now. Let us focus on when to bring it forward. Because when it comes forward, you're ready for it. Even though it might make you nervous or whatnot, you're ready for it, okay? All right, let's get into the clarifiers. I'm gonna use the, oh, shoot. And I meant to say this in the beginning of the reading, but this is the Moon Child Tarot. I know somebody asked in a comment, um, on a, f a few days ago and I'm I, now that I released the Zodiac videos my comments have just like exploded so it's kind of gotten lost but it's the moon child tarot all you have to do is google it they do have a website just google moon child tarot um, and there's a website for it it's not sold on Amazon okay all right guys I'm gonna get into the clarifiers now and Yield. We're going to start with the top. 
and then we're gonna start with the bottom. No, okay, okay, let me say that again. We're gonna start with the top and then we're gonna move to the bottom. There we go. <laughs> Three shuffles here. For some clarification, please, spirit. We're gonna start with the Ace of Cups, Three of Swords, and the Knight of Pentacles. Best messages, please. And best guidance in how to handle this. How to handle this heartbreak, this stress. Here we go. Best messages, please, spirit. You know, I kind of feel like a lot more would have come out in the main deck if it wasn't so freaking big because as you can as you guys can see, I was shuffling and cards were flipping over and staying in the deck. Whatever. I'm just I'm just talking. Okay. We have the 5 of wands so far. Um Yeah, we have the five of wands so far. So obviously there's conflict of opinion. There's, uh, or well, yeah, conflict, but also differing of opinion the, for the most part. Inner conflict, turmoil, but also chaos. I feel like, ooh, we, the devil. Mm -mm. The hanged man, look at that, wow. Um, I feel like this is a this is a phase okay you're going through a phase where there's a lot of chaos around you right now and the chaos has to do with um manifesting what it is you truly desire okay underneath the deck you have the two of wands the big thing here and i guess this is the most painful aspect about it the big thing here is someone has a choice of whether to proceed with the situation or to go in a different direction now, you could be that person that's trying to choose, or you could be the person that's on one side and the person you're connecting with has this choice, all right? But like I was saying before, there's, there's a lot of chaos right now, um, but that's a part of the manifestation process, okay? You have, ooh, death in reverse, the hermit, and the king of swords. Wow. I do want to say either someone is thinking very clearly, is being diplomatic, is willing to communicate. Again, communication is big here. You guys, remember the deck turned blue as I was channeling the energies, okay? So we're, it's all about communication right now, especially with this King of Swords. Diplomacy, though, object, uh, objective thinking. Either you're holding this King of Swords energy and you're just being very logical, being very grounded, emotionless, kind of, or you're needing, like you're needing to adopt that energy. That energy is at your disposal. You have the Hermit with death in reverse here. There has been a, okay, all right. So there's been a transformation. There's been a transformation that has led you to lead you or someone else to walk a path that is all your own, which in essence, it kind of feels like it shouldn't be, or at least it doesn't have to be. It just feels like you walk alone here. And with this King of Swords energy, you understand exactly why. You understand, you understand exactly why you are walking this path or while you why you may walk it in solitude yes but also it's that king of what i'm seeing here is this king of swords energy is like no i'm i'm not compromising in this way like i'm i, I am in this energetic space for a reason i'm staying here but then that's where the two of wands comes into play. Because if like, say that you're the person saying this to someone, the other person's kind of like, well, shit, what do I do? And you could see it as this other person, maybe it's a group of people, I take it as it resonates, but you could see this other person as in the five of wands, hanged man and devil energy. Now the devil energy has everything to do with this 
differing of opinion, conflict of interest maybe with the Five of Wands energy and someone feels stuck. Like not only are they chained to, they are, not only are they chained with the devil energy, but they're also um, confined with the hanged man energy. But the beauty of this is the hanged man is an energy of reaching a new perspective, seeing something differently. And it's not until you or this other person or whatnot surrenders to the energy of the hanged man, <laughs> confirmation, surrenders to the energy of the hanged man and allows this change in perspective to happen, which will then release them from the devil energy. It's not until then that they'll be able to get rid of the chaos. They'll be able to quiet the differing opinions, blah, blah, blah. But this person here is standing very rooted, very firm, very strong, saying, no, I've, I've gone through my transformation. I've found my inner light. I've found my inner truth. I see things clearly. And I'm not going back. It's very much a situation here, like with judgment. Once you wake up, you kind of can't go back to sleep. You know, like it, that's not, you might be able to do that in the three dimensional world, but when it comes to like spirituality and all that shit, like once you, once you're, once you're woke, you stay woke, <laughs> you know? And it's not even like this person wants to go back to sleep. Never, never in a million years is what I'm hearing. Okay. But then <clears throat> this is the heartbreak that's in between the two of you. Okay. Well, I should say, actually, this is the heartbreak that's in between the two of you. These two right here. The devil, the five of wands. Okay. Um, attachment, codependency, narcissism, addiction. Um, society status quo what else um, that sort of thing take it as it resonates yeah all right guys but then see and this ace of cups is here too but the ace of cups came out sideways To, and to me, that just feels like, I feel like one person's like, mm, well, you know, yeah, I like you, or like, I have feelings for you, but uh, I don't know if I want to get involved in that mess. And the other person's like, whatever, buddy. I mean, take it or leave it. But I'm not going to sit around and wait for you. <laughs> no, you see, haven't you heard? I walk my own path here. So you can either come with me or you can't, or you either come with me or you don't. Either way, I'm not going to lose any sleep over it. And I don't want that to sound mean. I don't want that to sound bitchy. But look, it's the truth. That's the cold, honest truth, says the King of Swords. Like, I'm going to stop there. Because <laughs> he was getting a little aggressive. So we're going we're gonna to stop there. <laughs> okay. Um, <clears throat> All right, so now let's look at the overarching situation. I mean, we've already gotten pretty deep here with the micro view. Let's go macro, okay? Let's look at the big picture here. Wheel of Fortune, Five of Pentacles, Shadow Work, and Judgment. Now, this could be a situation, a cycle for you in which you are still connecting with someone that does not see or recognize the value in others, that that is maybe fairly narcissistic, especially with this devil energy. Um, it could be very greedy. Um, <clears throat> this could be a cycle that you're moving through, that you're, that you're running in that has to do with self-worth issues. And so you align with people that mirror that, that view of lack of self-worth that you have for yourself, okay? It could be, it's possible. It's not, it, it's not, that's not like for everybody that's, that's not a definite thing. It just, it could be. And it could also be a fact that you, you have gone through a situation or a change in which, with death in reverse here, <clears throat> in which you are actively coming out of that cycle. So maybe this is like a little bit of a checkpoint here. Um, maybe you're doing a little bit of extra clearing. Maybe you're really closing up this, this transformative cycle situation here. 
Okay, let's get some clarity, please. Spirit on this second row here. Wow, there's the Two of Cups, guys. The Page of Wands. Are you serious? Oh, damn it. God, with the, ugh. okay. <laughs> Underneath the deck, you have the Eight of Swords. Oh, man, this is tricky. But look, the Four of Wands came out, but look at what, what's right underneath it. The fucking Three of Swords again. Shit, I don't, oh, shit. Six of Swords, <laughs> the Page of Pentacles, and the Ten of Swords. Okay, here's what we're gonna do. We're gonna do this. What's this one? Oh, the chariot. My, my, my. And the chariot fell out here. Of course, it did fall out sideways, but. Okay, here's what we're gonna do. Three of swords, six of swords, 10 of swords. Page of Pentacles, yes. I'm gonna flow it that way. Because that's really what, that's what the progression feels like. And then it, it almost feels like, like, yeah, it almost feels like the chariot energy <clears throat> is the driving force here. You have the Three of Swords, the Six of Swords, the Ten of Swords. Three of Swords is that heartbreak we were talking about here. But you see, the way this is flowing, the Three of Swords is on the Wheel of Fortune. So this is the this is the cycle that's closing out here, okay? This heartbreak with the Five of Pentacles also, that's right here. Leaving yourself out in the cold, feeling left out in the cold, okay? But then you have the Six of Swords with the Ten of Swords. That's coming to an end. It's closing out. You're healing from it. You're moving forward. Whether the other person that you're connected with is or connecting to is coming with you or not, it really does not even matter. King of Swords, it really doesn't matter. Because what matters here is that you are going through your healing process. You're starting on a new, you're starting, you're at a new level, especially because you do have death in reverse here, which in this case is speaking to the transformation that you've recently gone through and surmounted, completed, come out of, especially here with this 10 of Swords energy, right? But you have the Page of Pentacles, which to me is a level up, is a new commitment, is a new start. Trying to find your footing in this new environment, this new energetic vibration. You have the Page of Wands here, which is inspiration. You are feeling inspired, and I really do feel like it's this new cycle that you're moving in. You're feeling inspired to move in a new direction, to get a new thing going, to start a new project. And then finally, the Four of Wands with the Two of Cups. So honestly, honestly, I really feel like if you are connecting with somebody, you have, you, if you are connecting with somebody and you really haven't gotten to the communication phase yet in which you guys can really talk to each other, you know, get to know each other, I guess, tell each other your secrets and whatnot. I feel like you have a strong, firm foundation here. For some of you. But for others of you, I just see you moving forward with this chariot energy and the Ace of Cups, despite what the Five of Pentacles has to say, because you're doing that shadow work. Now here, also though, you have, <clears throat> you have the Eight of Swords underneath the deck. So yeah, someone's feeling changed, someone's feeling bound. But the beauty of the Eight of Swords is at any moment, you can free yourself. You are the only one that can free yourself from this. Nobody, I mean, yeah, somebody could come through and cut you free, but like, what's that gonna do for you in the future? What happens if you find yourself into another mental bind and you really don't have anyone around that can come help free you? You gotta learn how to free yourself, right? And it looks like somebody has. I'm not going to lie. It really looks like somebody has here. Despite the challenges that they've been through, death in reverse with the King of Swords and the Hermit, someone has already freed themselves and is standing there like, it's your turn now, buddy. Some of you are even sitting there saying, I'll wait. I'll be patient for a little bit. I mean, you have this Knight of Pentacles energy, so you kind of have to be patient. But some of you are like, yeah, all right. 
I'll be patient. I'll see where this goes, but I'm not going to wait forever. <laughs> I'm not going to wait forever. I know what I want. The chariot. I know what I want. And if the opportunity presents itself and it's not you, then maybe next time around. <clears throat> wow. This is intense, guys. Okay, I'm going to get to the Oracle Guidance section, and I do want to pull some Whispers of Love here. We're going to start with that, and then we'll see what else. I might want to, I actually might want to end with the Lightworker Oracle today. But let's just get some advice, some guidance here from the Whispers of Love Oracle. One more shuffle for today, Monday, May 6th. And I think I just wanna get, I just wanna get like two cards, please spirit. Two cards, best messages for us today. There they are. Wow. Okay, first you have card number 49. Actions speak loudly. Express your love through your actions. Actions speak loudly, guys. Um, that might be a big sign for some of you, okay? I'm getting, even though you may feel a connection with someone like if they're not acting on it or if they're not communicating with you about it, then don't waste your time. And even still, actions speak louder than words. So even if they are, and they see, no, no. I was gonna say, even if they are communicating with you, then like still be cautious. But like, if, if, if they're communicating with you, like legit communicating with you about things, okay. But if they're just giving you like piecemeal, like just, giving you little bits and pieces like what you want to no, what you want to hear no 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 don't waste your time move on yeah save yourself the heartache and the energy then finally you have card number 10 you have three tens here you have the wheel of fortune the ten of swords and now this card which is treasure your loved ones it is it is important to love others deeply now if you do really have feelings for this person, then maybe it's time for someone to take action and communicate. What's the worst that could happen, guys? Honestly, what's the worst that could happen in communicating? The worst that could happen is someone says, huh, wow, that really is not for me, unfortunately. Okay. But you see, that's where this Ace of Cups comes in. And that's where you're learning the lesson of not putting yourself out in the cold. Because just because someone external to you rejects you does not mean that number one, everyone is going to reject you. And number two, it doesn't mean that you're any less of a person, less of a good person, less of a beautiful person. But Owning this energy of the Ace of Cups is being able to face rejection without even batting an eye. Just being like, all right, cool. Catch it on the flip side. Because your rejection does not have anything to do with my worth. Period. Nothing to do with it. Lightworker Oracle. Okay. Oh no, there goes my quartz. Hold on, hold on. Where is it? Where it is, okay. Okay, we're gonna close this reading now with a message from the Lightworker Oracle.
Best message to peace, spirit, for today, Monday, May 6th, 2019. 2019, souls. <laughs> Here we go, guys. Best message, please, spirit, to close out this reading. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Not all that. <laughs> Let's try this again. <laughs> Just one card, please, spirit. Just one card. Close out the reading here. Best message, please, spirit. For Monday, May 6th. There. Oh, shit. Okay. Um, I, got a, I caught a glimpse of the card as it came out. Um, I did a reading for Morning Coffee... I want to see maybe say maybe two weeks ago and you guys might remember it we were talking about the hierophant and um something and like the higher and like the status quo and the hierarchy and releasing that codependency and that attachment to like the establishment and whatnot and the oracle card that came out was soul child and it wrapped it up perfectly boop Card number 14, soul child. And this is a number of change. Because it's a 14, it's a, it boils down to a 5. Okay. That's really awesome. I just wanted to share that. I thought that was really cool. Because this does feel kind of like a similar energy, okay, to what that reading was about. But here we go. You have soul child. Rebirth is upon you, beautiful child of the universe. You have prepared for new life, and it is starting right now. The divine moment of rebirth, which occurs after a peri period of struggle, of intense inner work and physical transformation, has arrived. Enjoy getting to know this new self. It is a new day, a new beginning, a new you. Like an adventurer enjoying the discovery of a brand new world, take your time to explore the increase of your light, power, and love. And honestly, I, that is what I feel like this transformation is that somebody here has gone through. Death in reverse, ace, I'm not, I'm sorry, well, yeah, death in reverse, the king of swords with the ace of swords here in the overall energy in the first deck, and then the hermit, okay? Someone really has let go of these self-defeating energies, these self-deprecating energies, the lack, the feelings of rejection, The only true rejection that you will face in this life is the rejection of yourself, period. Because as long as you accept yourself for who you are and where you are right here in this moment, you are Gucci, Fendi, Prada, and whatever else you wanna say about it. Like you're good. The only individual that will reject you, that can have the greatest impact on you through rejection is yourself. And I really feel like someone has learned that and is no longer, first of all, is no longer taking themselves for granted and is saying with this King of Swords energy, either you see me for who I am and you accept me for who I am. It's okay. No, I'm sorry. The King of Swords and the Hermit. You see me and accept me for who I am and we move forward with this or we don't. That's up to you. The ball is in your court. And that's what the Two of Wands was speaking to before when it was in the overall energy of the clarifiers the, uh, in the first, when we clarified the top row here, okay? Stand your ground, y'all, stand in your power. I mean, yes, you have the Ace of Cups here. So there is emotion involved. There is love, compassion, acceptance involved here. But you also have the King of Swords. And the King of Swords is like, hold up. I see your cup of love. I raise you some truth. Mm. Sips tea. <laughs> <laughs> So there you have it, guys. Thank you so much for tuning in. I hope this was helpful for you. Again, if you would like a look into your own personal situation, please go ahead and email me. I am going to be dealing with my emails today. You should hear back from me today if you emailed me over the weekend. Yes, much, much love to you guys. I hope you have a great day, and I look forward to connecting with you again tomorrow for our next cup of coffee. Yeah? Take care. Bye.